All right, welcome back to MLB 9 Innings. New season's upon us, so we got a lot to cover. So first thing, we got this um, season or opener gift box. Oh, there it is. All right, we got um, a prime player pack. So um, really the only thing that I could help for is a diamond Familia Prime. And no, it's not that. Maze. This looks new. I think it's new for the game. All right. Now on to the main event. We got our packages. So, got our team select SIG. We are hoping for batter. Uh, ideally, I want an outfielder. Uh, the best would be Conforto 19. Uh, Nimmo would be okay. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. That's good stuff. That, I think that's Conforto. Yes! All right. We got him. Whew! Um, awesome. That That's who I was looking for, for sure. Let's screenshot that. That's the best Mets outfielder. All right. Let's go ahead and try and increase some. So what I did is I opened a 90 team select packs looking for him. Um, if you all want to see what opening 90 team select packs looks like, uh, let me know. I did record it, but I'm not going to go ahead and post it um, because it's kind of boring. We got no diamonds, no vintages, no primes. In 90 tries and we got the we got four confortos so hopefully I only have to use one one of these player upgrade tickets um, two two would be fine though uh, we're gonna have to train them up we got some amp tickets we can possibly use um, so yeah, I only had three normal outfielders, so I wanted an outfielder. Um, I would have been happy with any of them, but what I like about Conforto is I've, I haven't really done the skills and the special training on his card, his normal card yet. So he'll be starting fresh. All right, so we're training him up. I didn't want to get through the... Uh, Boring part, we're running low on level reset tickets, but we have a good run. I have a bunch of the amp tickets, uh, not really on power, but a lot on contact and eye. So as long as we don't get too screwed here, like plus three to fielding, um, we'll be okay. And we'll, nice, really nice. All right, now let's go ahead and use these amp tickets. I'm, I'm really digging them. They're hard to get. And then sometimes you don't get good ones, but I did get uh, probably this one of the best ones, maybe the third best one, plus three to contact. Um, I got two of the one to contact, two to eye. Um, the power eye speed one is, is okay. As long as it's only one, two speed or fielding, I, I feel like they'd be usable. Um, What am I doing? Yeah, contact. All right. So instant train. You don't need to sit there and burn coins. Uh, you don't need to sit there and wait for hours and hours. So this is a huge advantage. I'm going to probably go end up going back and reskilling a bunch of people. Um, yep, definitely. So either do the next one. Um, one power, one eye, one speed. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'd rather have a one, you know, one eye and one contact over power. All right, let's see what skills there are. Oh, well, actually, let's let's first go get our. Um, Pick'em sig that reopened 
It would be nice to get a free Mets one, have somebody else on deck. I've never got a free Mets one. And I still don't. A's. All right. Let's take a look. Let's save him first. We don't have enough for a sick combo yet, but maybe next double mileage. Um, let's go ahead and GI uh, our man Conforto. Williams is sitting in deck, so then we'll have an outfield consisting of Conforto and Williams. That would leave one normal outfielder. And then our catcher, uh, Hunley's, Hunley's technically a normal card as well. All right, let's go ahead and use some skill change tickets. Um, you know, there's some player, other players I want to use. Uh, do it on, but uh, you know, want to save up and start with Conforto. Got 110, so see what we get here. You know, I'm looking for a top tier skill set. You know, since I have 110 tickets, you know, it was really easy before Mentor. You know, uh, you get charisma. Um, you know, uh, slugger instinct, and that would be your, your top sort of skill set. But um, now it's still good, um, but a lot of people are nerfing charisma. No, that's not going to work. So I really want two of the good gold skills. I did pass on prediction batting machine uh, because they were all level one. Slugger Instinct Legend Laser Beam. What a waste of a triple gold. Imagine if that was like Charisma Spotlight Slugger. That would be great. Spotlight and Training Junkie. No. Um, that's something I would have stopped on if you have like, if you're much earlier. You have a lot of people to try and retrain. Um, so it all depends on where you are in the game. Uh, no. Let's see, the triple gold skill would be nice. Charisma, not with full swing hitter. No. Slugger instinct. Nope. Good thing we have a hundred and start with hundred and ten. Charisma, full swing hitter. They like giving that to me. Slugger Training Junkie. Laser Beam. I saw two gold. I was happy there. But nope. Uh, no. Usually about 30 will get you a pretty good set. Oh, there we go. <laughs> 30 exactly. All right. Charisma Slugger Instinct. I know they're nerfing Charisma some, but um, I, I think I'm going to keep that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and look at Shreve. Um, I like the dominant pitcher for him because he will get that bonus, but let's, um, let's see what, what else we can get. One, I'm sort of in that setup role. Wind streak, the nest pitcher. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think this. I'm gonna I'm could be good. I'm gonna pull my club. I'm gonna ask my club. Let's look at DeGrom. Alright, DeGrom pitching met machine. It's been okay, but I think we can do better since we have 75 skill change tickets. No, uh, no, not finesse giant killer. Dominant pitcher mess. Yes, I will take it. And a little kill shot. All right, that gets him done. 
All right, heard back from the club. Um, it's they had mixed sort of opinions, but um, I'm going to keep going, see if I can get something else. Uh, win streak. Win streak's tough for the um, setup role because sometimes they come in when the game's tied. Uh, setup man's better, but you know people are nerfing that too. So fixer untouchable. Fixer finesse. Uh, it's just setup man at level one. Fixer, mess, power pitcher. I would probably keep that if I was uh, looking for a, a middle reliever. It's a pretty good set, though. Uh, I'm moving Familia. He's got Iron Will, Pitching Machine, and Boss. So I'm moving him to um, middle reliever spot. Ooh, Pitching Machine, mess. No, I'm going to keep going. Kill shot fixer, no. Dominant pitcher, mess untouchable. I will take it. Screenshot it and brag the hell out of it. Look at that. Whew. All right. We've also decided to do Blevins. Um, he, you know, the boss, uh, win streak, not working too well. Yeah, I'll take that. I got, I got the skill resets to, to change that up. I know untouchable, but Hey, um, that that'll work. All right, skill change tickets done. I still got 50. I might look at Hunley later, um, not this week, but. All right, moving on. We got uh, GI resets to do. Uh, Shreve, I think is a 68. So let's go ahead and see how many it takes to get him up a little bit. Oh, wow. Look at that. 64 to 67. That's pretty nice. Um, let's go ahead then. We look through people. I think uh, Cabrera is one of the lower ones. He's at 66. Let's see what he gets to. Oh, wow. Look at that. Lightning does strike twice. Holy cow. I still got three left. I don't even know what I'm going to use it on. I'll save them. OVR amp tickets. Uh, I'm going to use one on Pete Alonzo. He's 72 right now. Um, and what did we get up to? One contact in one eye. All right. All right. A uh, pretty good session so far today. Usually this is the unlucky team. Let's start some special training. We got a lot of packs. Um, so we'll do Conforto. Uh, we'll, then we'll do Shreve. Um, that would leave... Just a couple people on the bench at level six. Everybody else being level eight all around. Um, these are all the team select premiums that I opened. All the duds. So again, you, know, you get a quick look at what I pulled. If anybody really wants to see me open um, all of them. I can post it. Uh, there was a cool video. I'm going to stick the link in the description. A guy opened 358 skill change tickets on a closing pitcher, and he did not, he ran out of them.
it was a um, an Asian, you know, writing uh, his YouTube channel. So I'm going to post that link. I think it's just good data. So if you want to see somebody um, open that many pitcher skill change tickets, just to understand what the distribution is, how likely am I able to get um, a certain skill set, that sort of puts a lot of data right in one video. So um, uh, I think it's uh, something good to watch if, if you're interested in that sort of stuff. All these leftover diamonds. Got a lot of diamond special training as well. I think I'll have some leftover so special training. Um, have to see who to use it on. All right. Gold special training drops enough in master mode. So that's, that's been nice. more of these. He should get up to level 8 pretty quickly. Alright, almost out of these and then we'll get into some pack openings. I'm interested to know what people got, whether they, uh, you know, who they pulled with, did they get a SIG? Did they GI somebody? Um, for the Astros team, I'm just going to GI. Um, uh, Nolan Ryan. Sorry, can't think straight. It's kind of late right now. So let's go ahead and open some ultimate packs. Got a couple diamonds there. Pool house 15. No, it's not too good of a card. Plenty of gold packs to open. So we did all the cool stuff. Uh, if you survive this far, we're just gonna be opening packs and special training for the rest of the time. Um, we got these diamond packs too. Let's open 10 of them. It's always fun to open 10 diamond packs. Let's see. Anybody of interest? No, 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 no. Any, any interesting skills? No. Mana's got some okay skills there. And then uh, Young's got touch mess. All right. All right, let's move on to some premium packs. Like grab a few diamonds, maybe we'll get a vintage or a prime. I'm feeling like the the vintage and prime drop rates have decreased. Um not sure why. I'm not sure if we're going to get anybody interesting here. Oh, there's a vintage. So, vintage you can combine to try and get the legend. You know, so you need the stars and the other vintage. Is there any vintage players? Uh, I mean, there's Buddy Harrelson. He would at least make the bench. Um, he's kind of a... Weak, weak on power, but I got Ozzy with the triple skill set, so I don't I don't see him getting displaced anytime soon. Um, I don't know. I I, I really wanted the Al Lighter card for a long time just because I I liked him back in the day, um, and like still like seeing him on MLB Network. He's always giving pitching tips. 
All right, let's stash those guys away and get back to special training. So yeah, Conforto was my top choice. Um, yeah, there, there was a bunch of others. I did the stats. Uh, if you're not familiar with uh, Nine Innings Companion, uh, he's really done a good job in developing that site. Um, encourage you to go look at it for for to find players. He's got a free agent tracker. Uh, he's got a a, a SIG um, a SIG odds calculator. So I had done that on my own because I keep the you own know, Mets registry right in Excel, but um, it's cool to look at to make sure you don't miss anything. All right. Now let's see. We'll throw him in the lineup. I think he's, he's going to replace uh, Granderson. I kept stats over the last um, two months or so. So I have some good stat data. And right now he, he was underperforming a little bit. Yep, got to get rid of Conforto 20 normal card. So of the outfielders, he had the, the weakest OPS. And it was slightly worse than Molitor. Um, I'd also give the tiebreaker to home runs, so Molitor wins handily there. Um, yeah, especially even home runs per at bat. So, because a walk is good, but it also can trigger mess. So, unlike real baseball, real money ball, um, walks could have, you know, some down. I'd rather still rather get a guy on base, but it's not as good as real life. All right. Well, let's see. What are we doing? All right. Let's go ahead and keep opening packs. What am I doing? Yep. I got to save the lineup. All right, and we'll do a little special training there. Uh, yeah, I guess go ahead and I think I'm going to use the packs first, save the diamond special training. It would be nice to have, uh, you know, 28 diamond special training on hand. So you can just go ahead and instantly get somebody to level eight if you want to rechange them all right it can get kind of boring so if you've made it this far <laughs> you're doing well Then I still got a whole nother team to do. So, um, got Nolan Ryan to make that video. So, So then it's going to be uh, play. Um, I'll probably be doing a lot of retrainings over time. If I get a bunch of these amp tickets, um, I could probably end up retraining people uh, to get a train that sort of looks a lot closer to the Conforto thing. So that'll take some time to build up those tickets. Um, and then I need to get more level reset tickets because you still got to get somebody up to level 17. Uh, so I'll 
I think that's now sort of the last improvement you can get is going back through and retraining people. Um, I'm going to do Hunley for sure. He's got the right one, two, three, one to power, two to contact, and and 12 to eye, but his speed and fielding totals 18. So that's, that's okay, um, but it's not... I'm trying to get him up. He's, he's actually been my worst batter. Um, the skills still aren't really working out for him. Slugger, barrel it up. So I'll try and, I don't know, either retrain again using these AM tickets or um, maybe reskill. I don't know. Um, he may not just have the speed for barrel it up to really be triggered. Um, you know, I don't, I guess I don't mind trying again, uh, but I, I'd just build more skill change tickets up, um, first work on the training. There's other guys who could retrain, you know, maybe Malder. He's, he's another 18 to speed and fielding. He's got that 21 to power, which is nice, but only five to contact. Um, it's not translating too well into good batting stats. He's got Charisma Spotlight and Pinpoint. So don't forget uh, Pick'em Games. Oh, a Prime. I think out of all the packs, his first Prime. Andrew Jones. He spelled it with a U? I never knew that. All right. Let's put him away. I am curious to see uh, what everybody else got. It was fun to see everybody starting to post on Discord in the club. I think one guy got a, a dupe. Um... We'll see. Do you need a special train him? Um. Oh, this can be tedious. She could do like a hundred at a time or something like that. All right, make it making our way there. So my OVR now should be over, without gear, should be over 113. So that puts me sort of like, I don't know, I think sixth in the club or something like that. So there's there's some good teams. There's some that are, you know, 116 and above without any gear. So, you know, they're pushing 120 with gear. Of course, OVR is, you know, uh, only one consideration. You know, the distribution of the training, the skills especially. Um, next skill change, I'm trying to think who it could be. Might be Arietta. He's got the, the mass PM. Yeah, you know, which has been okay. I mean, we're talking a um, low twos type ERA. Um, 
whereas say Harvey with boss mass is like 1.8 and DeGrom was like 2.1 and then Arietta since he's a little lower OVR he was like 2.4 um all right what do we got let's get some more silver packs Every time I see those players out of the game, I think it's a, a prime now. They kind of keep throwing me off. I wish the silhouette was was bland for a normal player and it was cooler looking for a SIG. So when you're playing somebody on quick play and they're out of the game, you, it's really hard to tell if they're a SIG or not. I mean, you can look at the OVR, but there's so many things that are moving around mess and skills and stuff. Uh, nope. All right, a few more of these. All right, um, we'll get him up. Yep, just needed one more. Well, I think that's it. Got him trained up. I'll have to decide what else to do with the other packs. Um, still got 